Good evening, everybody. And today, I would like you to close your eyes and imagine. Imagine being 40 years old, having a normal life, maybe even more than normal, an extraordinary life, a life made up of worldwide trips, friendships, love affairs, in which you realized your dream of making a living from music while you're working as a DJ. This was Fabiano Antoniani's life until the day of his car accident in 2014. Sadly, there was nothing left of that life. Left quadriplegic, blind, lacking any autonomy. But yet Fabo did not arrend it, did not give up. And for years, he kept trying to regain his life through um, experimental treatment, through um, physical therapy, and of course the love of his family and friends. In 2017, by then aware that the treatment would not work, would have no effect, Fabo asked Valeria, his girlfriend, to find somebody that could help him die. My name is Domenico Corniola. Her name is Antonia Fiore Faustini and we are part of the Italian Associazione Luca Coscioni. Hello everybody. As said, I'm Fiore Faustini and I'm part of Luca Coscioni's association which in Italy works to legalize euthanasia. In 2021, as you've seen behind my back, we collected over 1,240,000 signatures to call for a referendum and legalize euthanasia. But actually, we normally work and we act politically through civil disobedience, which means that since in Italy, assisted dying and euthanasia are forbidden by the law, we help people that ask us to go abroad in Switzerland, and we bring them there to get out to die. And when we get back to Italy, we report ourselves to the police, risking up to 12 years of jail each time. Those are some of my favorite pictures, because actually, we collected those 1,200,000 in two months and a half during summer on the beaches of Italy, in the <laughs> squares, with a lot of people, with thousands of people helping us. Actually, I know that thinking about the right to die may seem <laughs> strange to a lot of people. Because actually, the truth is that death is scary. Death is what we always run away from as human beings. Because it just goes against our basic human instinct to preserve ourselves. But actually, now it's for us, it's time to make it a new right. <sighs> With time, medicine has made so many progresses that actually the things that just a few decades ago wouldn't be even imaginable are now possible. We can survive horrible car wrecks, we can survive through illness, chronic illnesses, and medical conditions that just a few decades ago would result as fatal. But actually, this progress in medicine has always changed something else, in moral, I'd say. Because now dying is not anymore a moment in somebody's life, but it has become a process, a path along which we accompany people. <sighs> the question that remains open, and that to me is crucial, is but what is life? What does it mean to be alive? And the favorite answer I got for this question was given in 2006 by our former president, Per Giorgio Welby, which himself was a an activist for the Right to Die movement in Italy, maybe the first activist for the Right to Die movement, and also 
he was a patient of muscular dystrophy, a degenerative illness. Pier Giorgio Welby in 2006 asked our, <laughs> our, time, former. our former Republic President Giorgio Napolitano to get euthanasia for himself. And in that occasion, he wrote him a letter. And in that letter that now I'm reporting in Italian, actually, he said, President, Mr. President, <laughs> What is life? Life to me is a woman that loves you. Feeling the wind blowing through my hair while I take a walk at night with my friends. Feeling the sun upon my face. But life is not always happy. It's not always funny. Sometimes life is also the woman that you love leaving you. Or the friend betraying. But actually what I'm left with, he said, it's not life anymore, because all those things were taken away from me. So, if I have to think about what is life to me, I'd say life is a matter of freedom. Freedom of choice, freedom to set your own boundaries, freedom to live as we wish individually. And that's the ground we are standing for. That's why we're fighting for. Because in my opinion, and from my point of view, being pro-euthanasia has nothing to do about, with death. On the contrary, being pro-euthanasia is a way to show love for life. And it's a way to, be, to give back to people the dignity that every human being deserves and that too often illness take, takes away. We are still fighting. We are still trying to legalize euthanasia in Italy. And that's what we keep on doing until it will be. Because since we started a long journey, this long journey. Really long. <laughs> a really long journey, actually. We have made many progresses. Actually, assisted dying after our action has become partially legal in Italy in 2019. But there's still something to do. And that's why we are fighting for. Thank you for listening to us. <laughs>